Is life about how much you've done with technology, how much you've achieved, how much money you made in your life? Or is life about how many times you laughed compared to smiled? I would rather have a happier life. And sure, if getting success in business is what makes me happy, that's fine. But um, I really believe that you know some kind of enjoyment aspect should pr go through, especially all learning and all work. Now, I was an engineer. The work is hard, it's intense. You work late hours at night sometimes trying to solve a problem. You know, and you just, it's so hard to get there and you finally crack through and it's sort of a relief. But you know what, when you're working that hard all day long, you need those little jokes with your friends. You need the lunchtime where you can sit down and chat is such a big part of your life. I look, sometimes I look, what apps have I used in the last day? And there's like 30 of them stretched out and every one of them was important at the time I used it. So my life is largely defined almost by the apps that I use. Everything you do in life that's important to you, getting airplane schedules, checking on timing, uh, getting answers to things like distances, finding out what movie's playing where, we almost all want to go to apps that are designed to do it now. Um, I do like Siri because it's sort of a general one that reaches all apps. Someday I want to be able to say the name of an app, like um, Foursquare, and then say uh, and say it to Siri. I'll say Foursquare, and now it's going to use Foursquare's language from then on. Check me into this restaurant, you know, or something. And um, eventually, all all those apps and all. I, yeah, I just want to get to worry about not even having to find an app. You still have to find the apps, but I want the apps to be able to become a part of the voice system. And the way that's going to happen is we had a language in Apple. We still do on our computers called Apple Script. Apple Script was a very strange computer language. There's no other like it that I've ever heard of in the world. But in Apple Script, you will always say, tell a certain application program, tell app um, mail to do some things for you, to copy a, a file or something. And you'll, whoever you're talking to, you now speak their language. They each have their own dictionary. So the language of this programming language is not defined. It's open to every program, writes its own. I want every program to start coming out and being a part of Siri every app on the iPhone. And the same thing would apply to other tech, other platforms. I, I, I bought this watch when I heard about it. There's a guy in Tucson, Arizona that makes it by hand. It's so unusual. It uses things called Nixie tubes, old vacuum tubes. Now, I grew up in the era of vacuum tubes where I built ham radio sets out of vacuum tubes. They run on 140 volts in here. They haven't been made in 40 years. So you have to have people that have saved them over the years to build a watch like this. When I turn my wrist, you see hours and minutes. When I first got this watch, I was going to wear it for one week. And I was going to tell all my gadget friends, look at this. And then I was going to go back to my nice, beautiful watch with hands and a dial and its jewelry, you know. And I said, my gosh, my brain is working less to see these nice, big, glowing digits. My brain's doing less work, and it feels more comfortable to read the time here than on any watch, analog or digital, I've ever owned. And I go with when my head feels simpler. So I do it for just because it's the most convenient timepiece I've ever had.